Okay. Uh, people power. Our power. Our power. power. Mr. President and uh, all uh, comrade leaders, uh, uh, the leader of our front in parliament, and uh, the rest of the leaders. I think that I will just respond to the Wangadia question uh, for about the Human Rights Commission. Like we have repeatedly said, uh, Maria Mwangadia seems to have a problem we don't understand. Because you cannot be a leader later on, a chairperson of the Human Rights Commission, and you are behaving in that manner. First of all, the Uganda Human Rights Commission, as you all know, we filed a case indicating all our people who are missing. From some disappeared, of course, in 2019, 2020, 2021. And as you know, many of them are still missing up to now. You all recall that at first, Maria Mwangada released a statement in which she said that uh, our people did not have IDs, that what? And we took all these documents to the Human Rights Commission. You remember, we went with all these people to file all those documents. Uh, some had national IDs, others had uh, passports and other documents. But up to now, the Human Rights Commission has never called those people to, you know, investigate, to, to follow up. It is not up to Maria Mwangada to say that we are no longer going to investigate these cases. The Constitution commands the Uganda Human Rights Commission. And Mwangadia needs to understand that she is not the Uganda Human Rights Commission. The Uganda Human Rights Commission is an institution set up by the Constitution of Uganda. And so she cannot say that Damu, like she was saying, the law commands her to investigate. So we gave them all the other details regarding our missing persons, and it is our expectation that they will go on to tell us where these Ugandans went. Because many of them were taken away by the military, by the police. You know, at one point she said these people are non-existent. She said they are ghosts. And then in the next minute, she said that these people are abroad. So how can you say that people are ghosts? And then the next minute, you say that they, are, they went to foreign countries. And the next minute, you say the RDC of Kayunga parading a man who they said was uh, Lukwago Martin. So that is to, to tell you that uh, they, they are just a confused lot because they, violated, they are violating human rights with impunity. But we want to warn the Uganda Human Rights Commission generally because Wangadia works with other commissioners. If Wangadia has decided to become what she has become, let the other commissioners speak out. Because if they do not, then they are also complicit in the abuse of human rights that is going on in this our country. Those people are taken to safe houses and subjected to torture and other all manner of things. So, Kusonga ya wangadia, ngabwe nyonyo de, tuateka yo list ya bantu wa febo na. Bwebaso ka okfulimi a reporter ya abwe. Baga mantiba na bantiba ina IDZ, teba ina chine. Wangu kubada wa mubali babi tuteyo. Tuwafa wano, ngabo mujukira, nefamiliza wana wantu, netuwa tuwa ilabio. Nawe nevi kuwata kubantu wa fea wabu zibu wawo. Nawe wa sewa nebanyabo, nebo tuwa gelira, unakuluwa lero. Tebaba itanga, okufindinga out, obo kutubu ulira, checha agenda maso. Instead, wawa tukulira, nga baba buza, mwagala sente meka, musobolo kufa kusonga za bantu wa mwe. Kakatu olivo mtukiria, no mubuza, Ndi government kwa yo sente meka osirike. Abamu ngabo muse mula ba, bage zako kubwa ingiza bidiru. Tiba veyo baga meti NUP, elimba. Na ya abantu abo kubanga chitufu abantu wa babu zivu hao, bacha agenda maso no kubanja abantu babwe, nafe ngabo tubayamba ko. Ela tetukenda kusirika, mpaka. Ela tuko, tuko, tuko la mwena mwena abali ya bana Uganda, tukende maso no kubanja abantu wafe, Ababuzi wao, wewe